Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider Anniversary. We are past the Colosseum, right there, and we're in King Midas's Midas's palace. Midas, Midas. Um, yeah. Again, only. Oh, never mind. One artifact, but two relics. Interesting. Huh. Well, we'll see how that works. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? I was going to give these new weapons a try. Whoa, my God. <laughs> Jump scared. Oh my god. Of course there are two. Always two. Is it dead? It is dead, actually. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. That still took a decent amount of ammo. Or an indecent amount, I should say. What a base in there. Dramatic music is not coming down. Oh, for good reason, it turns out. One, and two, three, four. Oh, I did not... Honestly, I did not expect him to make it up here. Five shots? Uh, maybe there's some variation to the damage numbers. Okay. Go back to the standard pistols for now. Well, okay, uh, I would like to get a checkpoint... Did I get a checkpoint after defeating the last gorilla? Not entirely sure. There was one here. I guess you can only trigger the same one once. Then you have to trigger a new one. Okay, so... Hmm. So I'm not sure... I'm gonna wait until I get the next checkpoint before I check something out. So, something that I'm sure is going to, to happen. Can definitely start climbing here. There's a slot for something. Oh, yep, for a golden item of sorts. Not sure if that's supposed to say something specific. You know what? Oh, I'm so okay. It actually says Midas here. Oh, yeah, there are a total of three slots that need to be filled. Good to know. Yeah, so this is. Um, Apparently a statue of King Midas. And this down here is closed for now. I wonder if that's the main thing that's going to open. Let's see what we can get. It looks like this is the only thing... We can, no. The only thing we can do for the time being is climb up here. There's switches. Switches are good. Typically there's another switch here. Sure, let's... Hit that. That opens one of the doors. Uh-huh. Yep. I know where that is game. Thanks for that camera pan. Two more switches and two more closed doors. Seems straightforward. However... Not sure we can get anywhere else for now. Those things look like nothing of any importance. Just pillars hmm, that are, for some reason, gated off. Okay, so it looks like we can only really go one place for now. That That's mean that that's... A long enough fall to kill you, or to, not kill you, to hurt you. Okay, now we got a checkpoint. So yeah, this is King Midas, the guy with the golden touch, huh? So... Oh, I can put something there, interesting. But I can also put myself there. Yep. And that's that. Game over. <laughs> that's pretty neat. I mean, it, it makes sense. I mean, it, it doesn't really make sense because it's not even the real, the quote-unquote real King Midas, but just a statue of him. But, you know, I guess no one should be too surprised by that happening. I also wonder... <laughs> yeah, okay, no. I was, I was kind of thinking that maybe doing that would consider the golden life-size statue of Lara 
one of the relics for this level? Or maybe some kind of extra Easter egg relic? Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. So that's one of those things. Obviously, it's not golden right now, so I'm going to put it onto the hand, turn it to gold, and then it's going to be accepted as a key because obviously the mechanism cannot only feel the shape of the object you're inserting, but also what material it's made of. It's It all makes sense. All right. Are you there? Batsies? Get out of here. Oh, what? Sometimes they squeak one final time after dying. That's That has confused me a couple of times now. All right, uh, there is a rope dangling there. Um, but I can't reach that from here. In fact, I, it doesn't look like I can reach anything from here. Oh, hi. I'm full on shotgun ammo, once again. I mean, if nothing else, the game is being quite generous with its ammo handouts. How would one get that? I guess the statue, uh, statue of this, this uh, pillar, I mean, looks like it's sort of some kind of mechanism, so it might sink into the ground or something. Of course, we'd also need to get rid of those, of that fence. Okay, this goes down. Well, I mean, the game is generous with its ammo, but it also likes to present me with a lot of enemies. Also, is it just me, or does it look like these enemies cannot actually come up these stairs? Which is most unfortunate for them. Uh, can you... okay. She can stuck on the stairs herself there for a second. Almost hybris, but only almost. Okay, so here we can just pull away the support. And that's just going to make the pillar come down the perfect distance. For us to access that item that's been placed there. That makes sense. Perfectly planed out, planed, planned out by the ancient Greeks. Oh, and actually that just fell. I suppose that makes it even easier than anything I possibly had in mind. A lead bar. So we're going to turn lead into gold, the classic. Now, what's this whole large elaborate room up here for? Where there's clearly something more to do. Oh. Oh, wow, it's fully it's completely changed. That's really cool. I was not expecting or remembering that if it worked that way in the original. Hmm. Oh wait, we can go up there. Okay. I mean technically we have what we wanted, but I'm assuming that this is just an optional puzzle that leads to something? There's something kind of shiny up there. Or is that just a, a lever of some sort? Huh. The rope is still there. Unfazed by all the changes. Okay, that was awkward. <laughs> but again, I take awkward as long as it works. Climb onto that. Alright. Pretty sure that wasn't there before either, or at least I didn't see it. Oh, that's just a ring from the side. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I, mean, I have no idea where I'm even trying to go. There's another ring. There's a ledge. Jump. Nope. Don't jump all the way over there. This is... Okay, that works. Again, awkward, but... That's totally fine. Yep, here we do some of this, and... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I, I think you were supposed to maybe catch that ledge there, but... Whatever works. Okay. Oh. Grapple point? What did I see there? For a second. Swing? Oh, I see that one. Yeah, no, that's not where I want to go. I think I can... Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to land on that... 
on the slope surface of that pillar, slide down, time your jump correctly, which is going to be the real challenge here for me, and land on that platform. We'll see how that works. That's a theory. Oh, um, this is awkward. That did not work either. Okay, never mind. So that's not what you're supposed to do? I guess the distance was a little bit too much. But where else can you go from there? Huh. The wall in my back was kind of getting in the way. That was the problem. Where else could you go from there? Weird. I mean, obviously, the only way we can go from here, we the only way we can start is by jumping up here. Okay. Let's, oh, regret that, huh? That's fine. It's not a huge deal. Okay, here we cannot do that. Okay, but we will eventually land here anyway, that's okay. Alright. Hmm. Almost looked like maybe you could get on top of that. The platform where the rope is attached. I mean, clearly, we're supposed to grab the rope and swing somewhere. Is it really not there? It seemed too far. With the wall in my back stopping me. I, mean, I don't know, should I try that one more time? Thing is, I failed to see where else I could potentially go from here. This is not a very long rope at all. That platform right there that I'm looking at, that's just a slope, right? I don't know. I'm, I mean, I guess I'm going to try again. What else can I do? I'm as far down as I can. She always climbs up a little bit more. That's... yeah, that's, that does not work. That is never going to work. That's way too far. If the rope were longer, maybe. This is really strange. Also, the hmm, the angle of that. No, oh, it must be correct. <sighs> Technically, if I could, I, it looks like I could almost make it to that ledge there, by the base of the pillar, and then from there maybe climb up there. But that does not seem what I'm supposed to do. Also, obviously that, that rope must exist for a reason. Maybe I am supposed to jump straight off the wall from from the wall run there and actually make it to the top of that platform. And maybe then I can make it with a running jump? No, that's way too far. That could never possibly work. Yeah, there's still the medkit up there, I know. I'm gonna just see if I can Make it far enough? Oh, almost. Almost. Hmm. Yeah, it should be faster. It's definitely faster than running back up. Okay, but this is... What? What? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Probably something I'm missing with that rope, but what could it be? I mean, I'm gonna try the jump off the wall run. No, I was holding left, game. I was, well, I suppose I was walking in a slightly not so straight line there. Fair enough. This seems. Oh, okay, and she just falls when you try to go too far down there. I did not mean to do this. Oh boy. The smallest mistakes in this game definitely add up to costing you a lot of time.
Okay, I'm gonna try and go down just a little bit more. Okay. This is like just to make that clear, I don't think this is the solution because this seems way too awkward. And I'm not even gaining enough help uh, height here to really make it somewhere useful. Nope. You can't even definitely cannot climb on that. What's up with that rope? It's too short and the angle is weird and there's a wall in my back stopping me from swinging that way and there is no other ledge that I could potentially reach. Wait. Oh, can you climb on that? Is that actually a climbable ledge? Oh my god. It's... I can't believe I didn't see that before or think of it. Because climbing on that... on cracks and, and pillars like that is, has been a thing forever. We've done that countless times. And somehow I didn't make that jump there. That's okay. Oh my god. I bet that's it. That, that's, that has to be it. That's the one thing that's logical in terms of how this game works. And that makes perfect sense in this situation. Oh my god, this is so awkward every single time. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there are several ledges there that I just did not see. I don't know why I wasn't paying attention to that... To that pillar. It's, it makes all the sense now. I wonder if I'm supposed to grab the one up there. Well, we'll see which one I can reach. Yep, sure enough. <sighs> oh, and from here we can go to the top of that. Yeah. Okay. That's a checkpoint. Okay. Thanks, game. Appreciate it, and from here we can probably make it there. Yeah. And the game realizes how awkward of a jump this is. Ooh. And I meant to jump, but I messed it up. That's okay, we can always just do this. It's almost as good as a reload from checkpoint option, straight up in the menu. Okay, also, this is much easier to make than I thought it might be. Okay, uh, significant progress. We can definitely jump to that little ledge there, and then go across there. Um, except when I do that, that's great. Alright, at least jumping to the pillar and then across is much easier than I thought it might be. Okay, that's not... I mean... Just making sure that I'm not... Oh. Always look at pillars. Always look at pillars. I was wondering what this platform here was all about. And that's... I mean, it still looks like something you could land on. Why did they put, it, put that there so... In such a promising looking spot? I'm sure it's not meant as a, as a distraction, as a red herring. It's just weird. Because that's the first thing that sprung to my mind, to my eye, whatever. Is there something on that ledge? No. Medkit? Well, that's... Hmm. I mean, technically we can reach the door from here. But I guess I'm... Or is that not, not a medkit, but an actual relic? No, that's a medkit. Wait, it is, right? It, it looked kind of strange. Yeah, no, it must have been. Okay. On here, should be able to just uh, lose no health, actually. Health bar did pop up, but I did not visibly lose any health. Cool. And all this was for what exactly? Oh. Oh, great. Uh, yep, a room to actually to actually dodge here. That's great. Um, oh, also, no iframes are supposed to ring rolls. And if you roll into an enemy's hitbox as they attack you. Yeah, well. But is it just me, or did this not take significantly longer 
than using those uh, caliber 50 weapons. Oh well, okay. Anyway, this put us up here. Combat music is still going, so I wonder if the enemies are already spawned downstairs. Okay, anyway. Nope. I guess not. Uh, well, we know that falling there hurts. Oh, hi there. I'll take those. Thank you very much. And now we can just climb up there again. I could create the next key. I suppose I could. Just don't, just make absolutely sure not to accidentally touch the hand. That would be pretty bad. Oh, okay. that. Alright, next part. We still have not found any secrets. Okay. Yeah, this corridor is just a loading screen and also, I suppose, a way... Whoa. to make sure these large rooms can exist without overlapping. Well, that's fancy looking. What are we even looking at here? There's a hook, there's a ladder, various platforms. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Well, there's some fire. Took the game long enough. I was wondering about that opening in the platform ahead. Now I know. Yep. Of course, that's never gonna stop now. God damn it. You know? Oh. Enemies in the water, huh? Really? I'm pretty sure, though, that they're. Well, I suppose they, they could have retroactively added underwater combat to this game, but that certainly was not in the first game the original. What is that? I... Impossible to tell. Maybe it's not an enemy. Maybe it's something... Some kind of uh, object to shoot. Hmm. I mean, with that fire platform being underwater, it sure seems like there's gonna be some changing of water levels involved here. That ledge looks climbable, but I don't see where to climb to. So I guess we can really only start doing this. Next question is, how generous are these fire hitboxes? Well, you know, technically I don't even need to ever stand on this platform. I wonder, though, if it's gonna burn me even if I'm, even if I'm just standing on the side. That does not work. Okay, so you have to be on top. And that is... Didn't need to swim here. Oh my god, that's an alligator. Nice. Can I please just press the right buttons for a change? Did I take damage? Did it chump me? Oh, it's already dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't remember if alligators or crocodiles, I don't know, which one was it, were in the original. Okay, well, we first... Oh, you can actually make it here. And you don't get hurt standing on the edge. That's... Honestly, I was not sure that was going to be the case. Oh. Okay. And here, we have to run along. Wait. Where? Oh, okay. I guess we jump onto that ladder. Then at some point we're going to raise that platform and... Oh boy. Climbing up takes an uncomfortably long amount of time, and that is not actually a ladder. Good to know. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. So is this going to raise the platform? And it, is that going to be a time thing? No. Oh, that's... 
did that. Interesting. Hey, what do you think? Is there something maybe hidden underwater? Also, why is this pillar completely black? I guess it's not completely black, it's just very poorly lit compared to everything else. I was wondering if there was a missing texture or something. Okay, um, well, there could be something hiding underwater, some kind of secret. Just gonna take a careful look around. Does not look like it. However, the question remains, how did that help us? That raised a pillar over... wait. Oh, was that here? No. Oh, but we can climb up there. And that will allow me to get to that side. It wasn't this one, what, right? There was a pillar in the middle already. It wasn't open. So... Oh, I don't know, maybe it wasn't... protruding quite as far. Well, either way, I'm pretty sure I know where to go from here. Oh, I... no. That's right along. Oh my god. Whew. Can't believe that somehow worked. So the fire is at least as fast as, as Lara is. Yeah, it seems about the same speed. Okay, we'll jump up here, and then up here, and that should be safe. Okay. Whew. A little bit toasty, but, you know... Safe enough. All right. Here, we just jump across. No problem. Please tell me at some point we're just gonna extinguish all the flames. Yeah, that's gonna raise the platform. Pretty much had to be. Save point two. That's nice. jump across and grab onto that ledge, it looks like. Okay. So far so easy. Now we're go around like that. Okay, that ladder seems to be intact. Doesn't look like it can climb anywhere else from here. Um... Are you kidding right now? Okay, well, thankfully, once again, we can do this. Hmm. Not sure if I had the angle wrong. Oh, that was a little bit tighter than it needed to be, but that's okay. I thought I was aiming at the block correctly. Should be right. Um, no, once again. Weird. Am I crazy for thinking that it looked like the correct angle? I mean, on the plus side, it's easy enough to get across. Wait, fire once. Oh, that was a little bit too close. Just a little bit singed there. Okay, so, I guess I'm... That's not the right angle, though. literally straight behind her. And she jumps over to the right. I'm offended by that. That does not make sense. Assuming that getting to that platform is what you're supposed to do, and I don't really see what else possibly could be. Well. I'm gonna... Jump from here? That, yeah, yeah, that makes no sense. Oh, that's fine. Okay, now that goes up more. Can we wait? How do we? Is that? 
a ladder? Wait, how? Where? Um, how do you get on top of that in the first place? I mean, there is that ledge that you can go all the way around, so... I'm assuming that it has to do with that. Nope! I have no idea why she jumped to the side. That was a, that was a checkpoint, right? Sure enough. Okay. Let's try that again. Should you not press any button whatsoever. Any direction. That... Okay. Just hold on to that. Cool. Hmm. There is some... There are some poles there. I noticed those before. Hold on a second. this be a secret? Oh, that's a switch. Wait, so maybe that's something you need to do first. But then... Oh, it looks like you have to go there from... Hmm, oh, I'm not sure. No, oh, there's the, ru the running thing. Interesting. Maybe that's something I do need to do first. Well, it's unfortunate because I have to do these slightly more awkward... platforming again. Right. Fire. Got a little bit singed again. Barely grab that, and here we basically just go with the flow, hope for the best. Um, how can you climb up? Oh yeah, we can. All right, then we do this and jump onto that. I want to be a little bit further outside. Jump onto that. Okay. And is that required or optional? Oh, it is optional. That's cool. Now please don't be timed because okay, we get a checkpoint there. Huh. Okay. That's one of the relics, really. I mean I thought this this whole bit of that farming section there that I just did looked a little bit out of the way, but then again, I mean it's easy enough to, to actually see that grappling ring. I had seen that before, I just forgot about it kind of. Still, I'm not 100% sure how to even get onto that platform. It's probably something extremely straightforward, once again. I'm just terrible at noticing straightforward things sometimes, as you no doubt have noticed. That is not hard to notice at all. Um, yeah, well. I didn't even try to time myself with the fire there. Not sure what I was thinking. Clearly not much at all. I mean... You somehow have to get on top of that fire pillar, right? Maybe... There are ways to climb that up that I just didn't... see at first. There's no climbing on the ceiling here. I cannot climb up here at all. No. Doesn't seem seem to make there doesn't seem to be any reason for this crack to extend all the way around. Checkpoint, thank you. Wait, we didn't even have to go here in that case. I think it has to do with it must have to do with getting across. I didn't mean to hold on to that. Okay. Well, next step, obviously, climb up here. See if we can climb up, hold, hold onto that ledge up there. Oh, we can. Okay. Well, that explains that. Okay. It didn't look like a ledge. I 
climbable ledge, but... I mean, I had looked up here, right? And I thought... Oh, I fully timed that. Ouch. She got fried. And again. Yep. Yep, that's on me. I need to... I don't know. Climb into the fire a little bit more confidently. At least now I know, though. It's not too bad. I mean, good thing I didn't try this before, because obviously it wouldn't have led anywhere. Fire, and... Yeah. I need to take into consideration, basically, that she takes a little moment after I press the button before she actually starts moving. There's no fire up here. Thankfully, that's broken. Okay. Um, honestly, I should probably have gotten the checkpoint there. But that's fine. Um... Like this, where's the No way. Is it time? Oh my god, I think it, it might actually be time. Cool. Didn't see the line head there. Oh my god. You know what? Uh is it actually time based? It looks like it, right? I think the secret is down there. Oh man. I'm also gonna die here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Oh, you know what? That makes no sense. Okay. Also, I guess I never expected anyone to return that way. That was weird. Um, well, okay. I mean, technically... Oh my god, technically I have to redo this entire section again. Is the... Yeah, the lever is in the upward position again. Oh my god, okay. That's... Well, that uh, takes some effort, honestly. Quit. Oh boy, okay. I think I'm gonna finish this room and then definitely take a break, because this ended up being a lot more involved than I thought. Especially with that relic being, being a time challenge. If I can, if I can pull it off. Um, that was really unfortunate. I guess I must have to jump sooner. And after I do that, I just basically have to jump right across. Yeah. I mean, I hope it's not too tight. The fact that I got a checkpoint there after after hitting the, the relic switch. Lured me into a false sense of security. Yeah, okay, you jump immediately. Then, kind of awkwardly, I suppose I, I could make sure that I jump from the, the right side of that ledge in order to not have to shimmy on the, on the pole there. Well, thanks for that checkpoint. I guess you get the checkpoint before reaching that? Yeah. Okay, well. Uh huh. Let's see how tight the timing is. No, it does give you a checkpoint after doing it. After pulling the switch. Well. I mean, I still have to play it a little bit safe, at least. I, maybe I could have climbed up there immediately. Definitely can take the shortcut here. Oh, no! <gasps> I don't... I can't believe that actually worked. And I should not have done that. Yep. Should not have done that. That was okay. No, it's already retracting! Oh my god, this is way tighter than I thought. Okay. Thankfully, though... I didn't get another checkpoint, right? This should put me right after pulling the switch. That's... that's rough. Wow. No waiting whatsoever, huh? Can maybe uh, ch uh, save a little bit of time here. I got it. Swimming in a more... 
um, optimal line. But man, this is a real speedrun challenge, though. Run up, please. And tiny time saves here and there, but man. I'm just gonna take it here. Hopefully, it didn't kill me. Okay, and I fell. Not sure how close I was there. Also remember, the relic is actually slightly to the left on that pillar when I make it to the top. Okay, I hesitated there for a second. Okay, well, this is um, a lot more challenging than I thought. Not that I'm necessarily complaining, it's, you know... Most of the game, honestly, is not that hard. The thing that makes it the most hard for me is... Uh, Awkward controls, for the most part, which is, you know, arguably the worst kind of difficulty. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, I made it. Jumped a little bit further to the right than I should. Oh, come on, please. Girl. Girl. Camera. Take a med kit. I'm gonna burn to death. Oh my god. I tried healing again. Yeah, I was thrown off there. Sometimes... In case it wasn't obvious, uh, whether whether you're going to shimmy on a ledge, of any, on any kind of ledge, or get into position to jump away from the ledge, depends on camera position and the way you're holding the stick in at any given moment. So climbing ar around curved surfaces like that, curved edges like that, has always been awkward. There were a couple of situations in Tomb Raider Legends that were definitely significantly awkward. I'm just holding left here, but the camera can, so I'm, yeah, I kind of have to hold to the side there. Here we jump. Where? What? I think I made it in time, but I actually have to hold the switch again. Okay. Thanks for giving me a second checkpoint, indicating that... Okay. I mean, I, I suppose I should have been paying attention to the switch being in, in the up position again. Yeah, why does it give me a second checkpoint there? Pretty sure I made it. I suppose that was a decent practice run. Of course, I don't know for sure whether I made it or not, but everything lined up pretty well there. Oh, well. Cutting all the corners. I surprisingly didn't really take any damage there. Yep, okay. Awkward again. Jump up. Take full damage from this. <gasps> Thanks, invulnerability. <sighs> okay. Uh, I mean, this should be saved no matter what, even if I die now. So, yeah, that's great. Griffin had protome. Pro protome? Protome? I have no idea what that's what it is. Uh, Griffin heads were fitted on bronze cauldrons or drinking vessels in archaic Greek art, circa 700 BCE, and served as talismans to ward of evil spirits. Cool. Oh, that the fire is here. Heal, actually. Oh my God. Okay, I just jump up. <sighs> you know what? Eat a celebratory large match here. And hopefully, I can just make it. Here, I wanna just jump across to here. Oh, and right into the next fire. Wait, there is not even. Okay. Okay, here we just jump backward and we made it. Next checkpoint incoming. Okay, we got the. The next lead bar. Wonderful. Whew. Now... We just return? Wait, what was the... Didn't I see a... Um, oh, I see. I did see that marker. I did not see the medkit. Brown on brown. Um, yeah, we just... Return? Now? But wasn't there... The issue of uh, another ledge that we couldn't really reach with the other switch. 
it doesn't seem like this time there is a... Um, another way from here, leading out of here. That would lead us to that other part of the main room. So hopefully... Maybe... Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe something will happen when we return. Maybe when inserting the second uh, bar. I said I was going to end the episode after that room. Okay, of course, of course. What? That was the other one, though, that started its charge, wasn't it? Maybe not. I thought it was. Um, yep, okay. Once again. Looked like I was going to dodge, but the game thought otherwise. That's fine. It's still danger music, huh? Reload. Yeah, we still need to get over there somehow. Has there always been a way and I just didn't see it? Maybe you just... Oh, you know what? There is a way. Yes, okay. There actually is a way. I just didn't see it. Alright, let's quickly insert the second bar, though. And also... Grab it. Mm-hmm. One more to go. And sure enough, there are some ledges there that you can... Definitely reach from this little fountain. Alright, so this never was supposed to be a, a puzzle. I also didn't see a tunnel leading to this platform, unlike with the one on the other side. I just, I don't know, stopped really looking around for another way, so long as there was a uh, an obvious way to go. Okay, well, I mean, that gives us access to the third out of three rooms. But we are still missing another relic that might or might not be as much of a of a thing to get as the first one. And another artifact. So since and but still yeah this has taken almost fifty minutes so far. And at at the risk of the next part of this level being a little bit shorter, I'm going to uh, take a break here and we're going to continue next time as always i thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and i shall see you real soon bye bye